Well, Kimbo, I've got to tell you, this is one of the most exciting things that we're going to do on this whole trip through Fiji. Mm. There are a few experiences such as the one we're about to undertake. Well, I'm going to yeah, I was going to say, what, what's this we, guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so explain what you're going to be doing. OK, so there's only really one place in the world where you can dive with sharks, and uh, this is while they're being fed. There's a huge diversity of shark species. We're talking lemon sharks, tiger sharks, and we're talking real man-eaters. Yep, yeah, I was um, gonna... there, I'll count the man-eaters. There's, there's some great big bulls involved. Um, this is a really, really unique dive. Yeah, interesting. Um, where's the cage? Yeah, there is no cage. That's what makes this so interesting. The journey starts from the harbour on a specially set up Aquatrek dive boat, and the ride is only a 15 minute journey to the dive spot, which is a nature reserve providing fish protection from overfishing. Joining us on the journey, a veteran who's been diving for 25 years after she started at the age of 60. Don't be frightened because there's nothing to be frightened of. Joyce, I'm with you. Don't worry about it. I know you're in front of me all the way. The dive today will have us hit the bottom 25 metres below the boat between two huge shipwrecks. The journey to the bottom is steady and the visibility is simply amazing. Well over 20 metres, this is so much more than just a shark dive. The diversity of fish species here is simply incredible. From small coral fish such as damsels to monster giant trevally over 50 kilos each and even an enormous Queensland groper around 200 kilos. The divers are lined up behind a barrier rope for safety, but I'm taken beyond this to help the Aquatrek team start burling the water with fish waste. Very soon, nurse sharks turn up. These guys are not man-eaters. They tend to suck and crush the food with grinding molar-like teeth. Lemon sharks, black tip reef sharks and bullet-like silver tip reef sharks are all feeding. And then a couple of giant bull sharks emerge. These are the biggest bull sharks on the planet, and each weighs well over a tonne. These guys get the special treatment. Two and three kilo tuna heads, hand-fed by the expert team. At one point, the feeding mix changes completely. A pack of about 12 bull sharks move in, and for a few moments, it's on the edge. The divers move together until things calm, and then once it settles, the guys start hand feeding again. And my breathing and adrenaline returns to normal. With the amount of fish in the water, thicker than peak hour on the freeway, you might wonder how sharks are not eating them. But the truth is, these fish are just too fast, and the sharks will hunt them at night when they're asleep in the reef. During the day, they're just too fast to catch, and it costs too much energy for the return. After 45 minutes, we start the slow journey to the surface, and at the five metre line, I stop to find 85-year-old Kiwi Joyce taking time out to decompress. That is one of the most amazing dives I've ever been on. In fact, that is the most amazing. Sharks everywhere, giant trevally, tens of thousands of fish. I've never seen anything like that before. Brandon, that's just one of the most amazing experiences. Is there anywhere else in the world where you'd have a shark dive experience like that? Uh, no, we are pretty unique in the sense of just having such a wide variety of species mm -hmm. um, and also the numbers. Um, and I think it's got a lot to do with the amount of food we take down yep. to the actual feed site. Um, the species we saw today uh, are still blowing my mind. It's one of those things that, you know, you're in catch-up, but there's obviously yeah. those bull sharks. Bull sharks. Just incredible. And they're not like tame animals or trained animals. That's mm -hmm. the thing. They live in the wild, born in the wild. Yeah. Uh, they don't swim into cages at the end of the feed or anything like that. So that's the thing we want people to take away is they're very intelligent animals. Mm -hmm. And when they're in an op you know, in a situation like this, they make an effort to clearly identify their food. Yeah. Mate, thank you so much for looking after us so well today. I know there's going to be so many Aussies who are going to want to come and experience this. How do they contact you? Um, we've got a website, mm -hmm. uh, aquatrek.com and that's probably the easiest way to, to go on and see all our information. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thanks for coming down. No worries.